Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we are putting out currently on a daily basis. At this point, we've got uh, client success coaches who are putting out content daily to help you with, with your business, right? We've got success coaches in multiple sports who are creating content and with that content, they're helping to solve a lot of problems that coaches are having with their business. Okay, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. And also, if you want to get in contact with me to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call, you can do that by visiting the description of this video below. There will be a link to my Calendly uh, calendar. And through there, you can you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call to talk about your business and we can get on a Zoom call. I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your soccer coaching business to the next level. Right now, if you don't want to do that and you just want to send me a direct uh, email with a question, you can do that as well. To uh, send it to my email, which is make money coaching sports at gmail.com. So, today I want to talk about understanding your value proposition with your coaching business, right? So, something I help coaches with is understanding their business, right? Every single day I'm getting on calls with coaches, whether they're clients already in our business coaching program or they're prospects that are looking to invest into our company to become clients. So every single day I'm talking to coaches, I'm asking them questions with regards to their business, see where they are at, where they want to get to, and really understanding what their value is. Okay, Because when you understand what your value is in your business, then you will understand how to sell and market that value so that you can turn a prospect or a lead into a paying client, okay? So I wanna share with you three things that will really help you to understand your value proposition, okay? Now, these things are things that I want you to take away, make notes on, and really think about them because they're going to help you to understand your business a lot better. So that that way, when you get onto your next sales call with, with a with a, a customer, you are able to sell your services and you're able to dif differentiate yourself from your competitors, okay? So the first one is why should a customer choose your service, okay? So something you need to understand is what makes your business different to your local competitors and why should a parent or a customer invest their money into your services. So when we're starting the business, and I remember when I started my, my training business, I had to think about this a lot, okay? And until I didn't have it dialed down, I wasn't confident at speaking to customers because I couldn't tell them why they should choose me rather than choose someone else. But once I dialed it in, once I mastered, right, okay, this is why you should choose to train with me, then I was confident at selling my service. So what could this be, right? Why should a customer choose your service? It could be a number of things. Maybe you have experience working at a high level in soccer. So that experience might help clients to reach that level. It, it could be you believe in confidence development. So you're working with a specific type of player that needs more confidence, needs more, more help getting into the, the, the first team, or it could be getting more playing time, right? So if you're coaching a youth team, Maybe a client is coming to you because they want their child to get more playing time on their team. And you know that maybe that child is, is suffering from a lack of confidence. So you might be that expert to help them with their confidence, get them up to a good level so that they can get more minutes 
on the field. Okay. Or it might be you want to focus solely on skill development, right? So you're more skill development air focused and clients are coming to you because of the great results that you create with the clients that you work with. Okay. Maybe they, their child is needs help with their first touch. Maybe they need help shooting. Maybe they need help with their goalkeeping skills. Maybe they need help with their passing. Okay. So you might be a skills development coach who is specific at achieving certain results. And that's why customers are choosing you or going to you for your services. Okay. So the second one is what are the benefits of your service to the customer? So this means understanding what your program includes, right? So if you join my coaching program, what is it that the client or the customer is getting? Is it training training uh, per week? So one training session per week. Is it one training session plus a Zoom call per week? Is it one training session plus an evaluation uh, session where you go and watch uh, your clients play in their matches and you provide a report for them? What exactly are the benefits of your services? Now, something I encourage coaches to do is really think about this and break down the benefits so that it's not just training. Because if it's just training, then what customers are going to do, they're going to shop you on price. Because if they think that, do you know what? Coach Leo is just offering training and that's it. We can get that somewhere else for cheaper. Right? So what you want to do is you want to have a list of benefits so that when you get on a sales call with a potential customer, you can break down the benefits, right? You're, you're going to be getting one hour, a 60 minute training session per week. Away from the field, I'm going to be setting you accountability homework for your child to do so that when the, when they're not with me, they're still staying accountable to their, to their training, to their development. Also, I'm going to come and watch you once a month at your game and give you a very detailed analysis report on how they performed. Also, we include a parent Zoom call once every two weeks to these are called progress reports so that I can break down where exactly your child was at when they joined and where they currently are at the moment. Okay. So those are just four things that you can include as part of the benefits to your services. And when a potential client or customer understands the benefits, right? Your value grows, which means customers are going to pay more for your services. If it's just training, okay, there's only a certain amount you can, you can charge for that service. Even if you're the best trainer on this planet, okay, there has to be more value than just the training. Parents are not just going to pay for the training because they can get cheap training somewhere else. But if it's quality training plus this plus this plus this, then it adds more value and parents will ultimately pay when, when you add more value. Okay, now the third one is what problems does your service solve for the customer? So what exactly are you solving for your clients? So what problem are your clients coming to you that they need solving with? So I touched on a little bit at the beginning which was right, maybe you want to work with a specific niche who need help with their confidence. So those are the type of players. So maybe it might be beginners or intermediate type of players that need a little bit more confidence to reach that higher level. So that might be the type of clients that you want to work with. And that's the problem you solve. You bring in those type of clients and you get them to the next level. It might be you want to work solely with players that are of a higher level. So players that are maybe playing at a professional academy or an, at an academy level, and they want to get to that next level where they want to become a professional 
a soccer player, right? So you might provide more skill development um, training, which is more specific. So ultimately, parents are coming to you because they want their child to develop their skills further so that they can play at a higher level, okay? Also, uh, customers might come to you because they want to get scouted, right? They want to know how to get recruited by either a college or by a professional a soccer club, right? So if you're in Europe and you want to help players get to that pro level, right, parents might come to you because they need help on getting their child scouted by a professional club. Or if you're in the United States, parents might come to you because they want help getting their child recruited to play to play at college, okay? So what problems are you solving for your customers? And when you understand this, what happens is your, your business starts to focus on a specific niche, okay? So I'll give you an example. At Make Money Coaching Sports, our business focuses more on skills development coaches or trainers. So trainers that are doing either private one-to-one -to -one training or small group training. Now, we also work with coaches that do camps and clinics, but ultimately most of the coaches that we work with are trainers that specialize in private training. So one-to-one -one or small group type of training, okay? Because our company, our business, has that niche in lockdown, right? We've got that niche specific and we know the problems that one-to-one -one trainers or small group specialists have with their business. So you, as a business owner, should know what problems your service solves for your customers, okay? And that's where I want you to really think about and make notes on this, okay? And go away and really think about it. OK, so if you need more help with this, as I mentioned at the at the start of the video, two ways you can get in contact with me. Number one is you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me via Zoom. You can do that by visiting the Calendly link in the description of this video. Or if you just want to send me uh, an email with a question, you can do that by sending it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. I make it a mission to respond to every single coach that reaches out to me. So make sure you send me in. Don't hold back. Don't get stuck with your business. We're here to help. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to stay up to date with all the content that we are putting out. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.